take a look at the largest man-made groundwater recharge wetland in the world. It's 176 acres made up of 15 different areas called cells. They do have different elevations, not only uh, one cell to the other, but also within each cell to have a more diverse uh, wetland community within the cells. It's called the Central Pasco Beneficial Water Reuse Project, located at the 4G Ranch in Lando Lakes. It's designed to make good use of Pasco County's excess reclaimed water. Where this site is located, we're getting infiltration into the upper Florida aquifer, um, which ultimately will provide for a more sustainable water supply for the entire region. It's going to be beautiful once everything's planted and grown in. Mike Hancock with the Southwest Florida Water Management District has been visioning this project for nearly 15 years. The concept was let's bring that water back to where we got it and try to put it back into the ground. The reclaimed water that's being applied here is rich in, in nitrogen. Uh, which is a nutrient. This wetland is also designed uh, to bring down the nitrogen levels to, to natural background levels to what you would see in nature. Once fully operational, the wetland will provide a daily average of 5 million gallons of reclaimed water back to the aquifer. The goal is to come as close to imitating rainfall as we can. Uh, when rainfall falls on a, a watershed, it doesn't all fall in one spot, it falls throughout the watershed. That water recharges and recharges throughout the watershed to the groundwater system. The Phillips family provided the land and the county and the district split the funding. It's something the county says would not have been possible without the district's participation. Oh, absolutely not. No, without the district's support and uh, guidance with this, we wouldn't be here today. So um, it really has been a tremendous collaborative effort between the water management district, the county, CH2M, Phillips and Jordan, the construction folks. Water quality, natural systems, and water supply uh, are all addressed by this project. For Hancock, seeing such a long-term project near completion that will reuse this precious resource is a tremendous accomplishment. To actually have everything come together, there were so many moving parts, so many things that had to work out for us to be able to build this particular one and to see a family being constructed is very satisfying. Just another effort the district is doing to provide a sustainable water supply for the future.